Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, <coughs> the Mad Tiger, and uh, up here today with um, part four of the uh, PlayStation Three collection. I'm still not feeling a hundred percent. I've just got one of them anti-sickness tablets as well, and they're weird. You you got to keep them here. Um, I'm feeling a bit oof after taking that, which it does say it can make you feel a little bit oof. Um, as long as I'm not coming out in rashes or anything I should be fine I'm um, gonna take it easy but let's just go straight into this first up we have Guitar Hero the original all started on the PlayStation 2 um, again like I said they're not expensive games on their own Ghost Recon Jungle Storm um, again another series that was very big on the PS2 um, you know these tactical shooters. I'm not a huge fan of them myself, but I know they have big um, followings among certain players uh, Then we have Ghostmaster, the Gravenville Chronicles um, Kind of reminds me a little bit of like Poltergeist or something like that um, If you remember that game I think this was originally on the place to, uh, PC I think uh, ghost Hunter, which is often considered to be a hidden gem. It's like a Ghostbusters style game. Um, I've heard good things about this one. Uh, GoldenEye Rogue Agent. Um, yeah, this was a, it's an okay game. It's not, it's not part of the normal GoldenEye, uh, James Bond in the traditional sense. It's, it's kind of an interesting one. <coughs> um, but I remember it being okay but the cutscenes had really low res graphics for some reason uh, FIFA 2003 again not much to say about this 5p it cost me originally now they're about 50p each in CEX CEX only do things at 50p lowest price now they don't do anything cheaper um, FIFA 2002 which has a FIFA 2002 uh, PlayStation 1 disc in there for some reason and then we have FIFA uh, 2001 in a 2002 case that happens sometimes they get mixed up with these old FIFA games and um, then we have flat out kind of a fun one sort of more arcade racing uh, action type racing game I played a little bit of it uh, Fisherman's Challenge uh, again I already mentioned these fishing games aren't too expensive but they aren't the most common games either uh, Flat Out 2 uh, of course um, they did bring a third one out on the Xbox I think and then they did a new one I think there was like three or four Flat Out games um, then we have Call of Duty Finest Hour, uh, a lot of people think this is the original Call of Duty game, no the originals were never released on console, when I say originals I mean the old PC ones, this was its uh, own thing, the consoles. Uh, Dual Master Limited Edition, um, it's meant to come with 10 free cards in there but um, of course it was second hand so there was no, no cards in there. Based on the older uh, anime, when there was all these card-based animes like Yu-Gi-Oh and Bakugan, it was all the craze back in the day. Uh, TMNT, based on the 2007 uh, TMNT movie. I remember playing the DS version of this. <laughs> uh, Diving Type Emotion S, uh, made by SquareSoft. Yeah, um, SquareSoft. Um, didn't just make uh, RPGs back in the day. Crazy Frog Racer 2. A little bit harder to find the second one. Um, but it's not expensive. Either. It's still a cheap game made by Nico Entertainment. Army Men's Air Blades. Air Attack Blades Revenge. Kind of a fun one actually. It's kind of a different type of um, game. Sort of like an old school uh, throw back to the old like air um, jungle strike games and that 
um, Army Men Green Rogue. This game is it's hard as hell, man. This um, it's like a on rails shooter, but in like top down third person. Um, I remember having it as a kid and playing it a lot as a kid, but it is actually surprisingly challenging when you get to the boss. Uh, I never made it past the second boss in this game. Uh, then we have Army Men Major Malfunction. Uh, unfortunately, this one isn't um, that great. It, it was made by a different developer. It wasn't 3DO that made these ones. Uh, Gun, before we had um, Red Dead Redemption, we had Gun. Uh, this game has a lot of nostalgia and memories for me. Uh, really enjoyed that one as a kid. And it's still a fairly decent game. Uh, Gumball 3000, based on the uh, Gumball Rally in the US. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Like I said, Harry Potter games are going up in price slightly. Um, so keep an eye out for them. They're not overly expensive, but they have ri risen in price. Uh, Order Goblet of Fire. I used to play this one a lot as my with my friend, and we would always play um, co-op. And uh, just uh, let her Marley get killed and stuff like that. We were savage back in the day. Uh, Happy Feet. Uh, based on the movie. Kind of like a mix of m multiple types of uh, mini games, I guess. It's a kid's game, what do you expect? Uh, GTR 400. Another racing game. Like I said, there's tons of racing games. Uh, GTC Africa. From Rage Entertainment. Uh, GT Racers. Another racing game. Uh, Brave the Spirit Dancer. Um, I remember seeing this one back in the day a lot. All of the information on the game sites and stuff. Uh, Celebrity Deathmatch. It's not that great of a game. It reminds me a lot of if you've ever played the Simpsons wrestling game. Very similar to that in its gameplay. Um, it's not a great game, but if you've got someone to play it with, it's fun for a, uh, you know, a play session for a laugh. Uh, Guitar Hero rocks the 80s. A um, bit more of the uncommon Guitar Hero game, but it's not too expensive. Guitar Hero 2. Of course. Guitar Hero, uh, sorry, guitar, GTR Touring, uh, so GTR had a couple of games in the GTR series. Um, Guilty Gear X, um, yeah, these Guilty Gear games aren't overly expensive, which is surprising, um, but they're not too common either, so any anime style game, um, pick them up, you know, because they always go up in price. Um, Guilty Gear X2 Reload. And of course, they'd always bring up new versions of these fighting games like Street Fighter. You know, they'd always get those different versions. Um, Clever Kids Pony World. Yeah, this is uh, something else. I'll give it that. <laughs> Shows what the PlayStation 2 was capable of, you know. <laughs> uh, Commando Strike Force. I've heard good things about this one. I don't know if I've ever played it. But I've heard good things about it. Uh, the Commandos 2, I don't understand why people are saying that this game has gone up in price. It hasn't, um, at least not here in the UK. Um, it's a fairly cheap game. Um, I know they did a HD remaster for it on the Switch and PlayStation 4. Um, it's like a tactical strategy game. Uh, we have Black Market Bowling, another bowling game. Uh, what makes it so Black Market, I don't understand, but never mind. Club Football, um, 2005, uh, Birmingham. Um, so these games were essentially all the same. Um, they were made by Codemasters and it basically was the same engine um, for the entire game. So all the games were basically the same. But they did like the normal one, then they did a re-2005 uh, season one and they had them based on all these different club football teams um like birmingham arsenal you know liverpool all like the top teams um 
And I think the only difference between them was the um, like the, the the stuff based on the club. So you would have like individual things you could uh, look into on the club stuff. So like this behind the scenes footage of, for that particular club, and it would have a campaign based on that club, basically. Why they decided to do it like that, I don't know. Could you imagine them doing that this year with FIFA? Every, like 10 different FIFA versions. <laughs> uh, Smackdown, Here Comes the Pain. Probably the most um, popular of the Smackdown and wrestling games in general on the PS2. Um, of course, this game has actually um, gone up in price a little bit. Um, Circus Maximus, Chariot of Fire. It's a chariot racing game. If you've ever wanted one of them it took me a while to find that one and um, groove rider a slot car racing game it looks kind of interesting i haven't played it but i couldn't imagine it being too great uh giant citizen kabuto um i'm not exactly tired, but sure what game this is but it, it won uh it got game of the year awards and things so uh, excuse me Golden Age of Racing, if you're into, you know, Golden Age cars and things, you know, I don't even know who this was made by, it doesn't say. Uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, be probably the second most expensive in the PS2 library. If you have the first game on PS2, um, that's uh, worth a bit of money now. Uh, Goblin Commander. Uh, strategy game with goblins. Gladiator Sword of Vengeance. Um, I, I, I'm guessing this is kind of like um, Shadow of Rome type game. Uh, then I have an actual copy of FIFA 2001 in the right case. Um, Ferrari Challenge Trafotto Ferrelli. Um, I think this was originally on the Dreamcast. This was like a re revamped version of it. Uh, FIFA 06. Uh, then we have Hawk Kawasaki Racing. A lot of bike racing games as well. Never really big into bike racing games. Um, Call of Duty 3. Of course. Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, I've heard the Game Boy version of this is actually pretty decent. One of my all-time favourite games as a kid growing up, Cell Damage Overdrive. This was basically like Twisted Metal for kids. Um, but that doesn't mean it's a bad game. It did get a HD um, remaster um, on the PS4 and stuff like that. But I'll be honest. I actually found that the HD remaster wasn't that great. It had some bugs and things that weren't in the original game. Um, which I found to be really weird. I'm like, how does that work? You've got a HD remaster and it's got more bugs than the original game. And um, I, I had many hours played in this. But to be honest, um, I never did the other modes. I only really did the fight mode where you got to get the most points. But many hours spent on that with my brothers. Um... FIFA 2004, I have two copies, and anyone wants one, uh, FIFA 2005, and uh, FIFA 07, uh, FIFA Street, and um, the FIFA Street games are actually pretty fun, um, I spent many hours on the second game back in the day, uh, making my own team and customising the characters and everything, tricks and stuff. Uh, Rugby 2005, the EA version. Uh, Fight Night Round 2. A lot of people are still asking for a new Fight Night game. I know that isn't him, but that, that guy there getting punched in the face kind of looks a bit like Justin Bieber, just from that angle. <laughs> it's weird. Um, Captain Scarlet, another game from Blast. Um, do you know what is funny though? Because how many kids, how many people would know what Captain Scarlet is? Of course, it's a, you know, it's like a Thunderbird type show here in the UK. But how many people would have seen this and gone, oh yeah, I want that game? You know, it's a really obscure show. <laughs> um, Colin McRae 4. 
these rally games are good. Of course, the Colin McRae games are transferred into the Dirt series. Uh, Crash and Burn. Heard good things about this one. Kind of like, um, uh, uh, you know, Burnout style game. Uh, Big Game Hunter 2005. Some of these hunting games are, are going up in price. Um, I don't believe in hunting for sport. Um, if you're going to hunt, do it for survival only. <laughs> um, I think hunting for sport is wrong. So that's my views on it. <coughs> if you want to go around shooting animals, <coughs> then I guess uh, playing a video game is one way of doing it. Uh, Fighting Fury looks very generic, very low budget. Um, Final Fantasy X or X, uh, although this version is a French version I have, I just realised. Uh, Final Fantasy X 2, of course both of these got re HD remasters on the PS4, the Switch and all of that, the modern consoles. Uh, Fantavision, um, it's like a um, rocket, uh, like firework themed rhythm game. Um, kind of reminds me of that game, Boom Boom Rocket. Do you remember that one? Uh, Fantastic Four: Rise of the Silver Surfer, uh, based on the awful movies, of course, and uh, the normal Fantastic Four games. I think these are actually better than the actual movies, so um, if you want to compare them. Uh, Fireblade, another flight sim game with helicopters. And then the last selection we have here. Uh, Conflict Zone, um, it's a strategy game based in the Conflict universe. Um, City Crisis. Uh, like a helicopter rescue type game. Gottlieb Pinball Classics. Uh, I think it has like uh, like eleven or so uh, Gottlieb tables. Uh, Go Go Golf. And from Midas. Uh, Finding Nemo. Uh, of course, uh, Disney. Had loads of films, games in the day. FIFA Street 2, probably the one that I've played the most in terms of FIFA games. Um, I still think this is the best uh, FIFA Street ever made. Um, just had the most stuff going for it. Customization. Uh, Fightbox, this was based on a BBC TV show, but I never, never remember the show. Um, maybe it'll get added to Britbox. But the, the idea sounds really cool, you know. Creating your own little fighter and making them fight each other, kind of like Robot Wars or something, but with like actual big people fighting. Unfortunately, um, the game is absolutely terrible. Um, fight Club, another one that is an awful game. It looks really good. Um, and of course, uh, Meatloaf not long passed away, so this one might go up in price because of that. Um, which I think is wrong, but you know, it is what it is. Um, this game is awful, but again, fun to play with a friend. And a Carp Fury Championship Racing. Um, I actually said it right this time. I always normally get it mixed up. Um, one of the first games I got when I brought the PS2 off my mate, when I started my collection. Um, this game is actually... Re oh, wow, it's got soundtracks from Disturbed on here. I didn't even realise that. Um, it's kind of a fun sort of arcade racer in the vein of like Daytona USA. Unfortunately, it's very challenging, but not in a good way. Um, in the way that you're never going to get first place unless you get really lucky. So it's arcadey experience. Um, I, I don't mind if you're going to bring an arcade game. I don't know if it was originally an arcade game. I'd imagine so. It's midway. Um, but I don't mind if you're going to bring an arcade game to the console. But maybe change the difficulty setting so you can maybe... Play it as more of an actual console game so if you want to progress and stuff um because arcade games of course are meant to beat you every time so you end up spending more money um so the difficulty in an arcade game is, is normally five times more difficult than say a console version of the game but you know free tries and everything but in this one um 
it didn't have none of that. Um, I haven't played it in a long time, so maybe it's... Uh, but I don't know. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm really hoping I'm not sick or anything more today. It was horrible last night. Um, this tablet that I've just taken is meant to stop you from being sick. Um, so I'm hoping that that will, will stay like that. And as always, guys, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like and, of course, comment below. Let me know if you've been playing things recently. I haven't decided what I'm going to do tonight. I might have another chill one tonight and just watch some TV and just give another couple of days to just try and recuperate. Um, and as always, guys, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mad Kygon. As always, have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.